If you like the video in the next 10 seconds, a $100 bill will appear in your bank account in the next 10 seconds, and I would not want to risk it. The most stacked and legit NBA 2K20 accounts. Make sure you guys go check out sportstmb.com and use code your boy said I check out. It's worth checking out, man. First link in description. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sam. Now, today we have a badge glitch that is super easy and super fast. I did post this before, but you guys missed this banger, bro. So, you guys enjoy this new badge glitch. Get as much badges as you can because 2K did patch the last VC glitch. So, go crazy with this new badge glitch, man. So to start this glitch off, the very first thing you guys want to do is load up the player that you'd like to do the glitch on into the neighborhood and then back out into the NBA 2K20 main menu. Make sure the player that you're doing the glitch on is first on the list right here. So for this video, just for an example, I'm going to be using the 60 overall two-way pass first point. So the first thing we need to do is change our settings over to rookie mode. So if you already know how to do that, then you can fast forward the video, but I would advise you guys not to do that because I don't want you guys to mess up the part where you do the unlimited mob player nation glitch with this glitch as well. But like I said, that's completely up to you. So once you guys have loaded up the player into the neighborhood that you'd like to do the glitch on, and then you come back to the 2K20 main menu, what you guys want to do is go over to um, features, go to settings, and then make sure your game difficulty is on rookie and then i would advise you guys to keep the game speed on 50. the reason why i, I have set mine to 100 is just so you guys know that the glitch is legit whenever i load into the games the game speed will, will be really fast so you'll know the game difficulty is also on rookie as well so once you change the game difficulty over to rookie um what you guys want to do is go over to uh, play now go to nba today and then select on any game that you see. Make sure your controller is on the right hand side and then you guys wanna go ahead and load this game up. All right, so once the game loads up, just to show you guys real fast, the game speed is on 100. You can see I'm moving fairly fast. I'm not fast forwarding the video. You guys can try this for yourself. So once somebody gets a tip off, press start go to um, settings make sure the game difficulty is on rookie and then you guys want to go ahead and join a friend that you have in the neighborhood all right so once you get into the neighborhood i'm going to go over to my not my, my player nation game you see i have one available if you don't have one available that's fine um you would just proceed with the glitch but in my case, I do have one available, so I'm going to go ahead and load this game up. And then I'm going to show you guys how to do the un Unlimited Mod Player Nation glitch. These games are double VC, double mod points, and then double batch progress. And not only that, this game is going to be on rookie mode, so it's going to be extremely easy to make your shots. All right, so real quick, in this game, you can see the game speed is still extremely fast. So it's also on rookie mode as well. Like I said, I wouldn't advise you guys to put the game speed up because it's gonna make it harder for you guys to hit your shots, but that's completely up to you. So in this game, I don't really care about this player, so I'll probably play six minutes and foul out just so I get my VC. But if you're doing this on a player, then you wanna make sure that you go crazy and get as much badge progress and my points as possible. So in this game, you're gonna get double my points, double batch progression and then double vc i didn't really try at all i just played six minutes just so i get my vc and then i fell out just because i don't plan on actually using this player but if you're actually doing this to grind then you guys just want to go absolutely crazy in these games so after this game is over what you guys want to do is go ahead hit next and then you'll be loaded back into the neighborhood once you get back in the neighborhood um now you guys just want to do the my player, the unlimited my player nation glitch. So from here, you guys just want to look and see what games are available. And then, um, so you can do this from the prelude. You can also do this if you're able to ask for, ask for a trade. But in my case, we're going to do this by simming to the end of the season. So that's why I, why I chose the Orlando Magic because they generally don't make the playoffs. No offense to them. They just don't on this game. So the first step to do to keep doing the unlimited my player nation glitch and also the rookie mode will always be applied to each game that you play until you change the settings back 
So keep them on, the rookie mode will always be there until you change it back, so we don't have to worry about that. First thing you guys want to do is go ahead and sim to the end of the season. So I'm going to speed up the video until this simulation is over with. So once the simulation is over with, if you did make the playoffs, then you just gotta play through it. You can like foul out and sell on purpose and you just need to get to the playoffs as fast as possible. But in my case, I went to the Magic and they never make the playoffs, like I said. So once the once this is over with right here, what you guys wanna do is hit A right here. Are you sure wanna, are you sure you wanna end the season? Hit yes right here, and then you can just spam A through all of this right here. So once you get to this screen right here, this part of the glitch is crucial and it's going to prevent you guys from getting stuck on a team. So make sure you guys do this, or if you don't, I'm telling you guys you might get stuck on a team. Once you get to this screen right here, when it's asking you to enter, enter free agency, what you guys want to do is just close out the application and then go ahead and reload the game back up. Once you get back to the 2K20 main menu, go ahead and reload the player that you're doing the glitch on back up. And then you'll be placed back on this screen right here. So now what you guys want to do is make sure you guys pick a team that has a Mob Player Nation game available. So you want to enter free agency and then you can hit um, a you can hit OK right here. And hold on one moment, I just want to see, I just got to see which team has uh, a game available so I'm gonna try to go to the Sixers or the Wizards so you can hit OK through here Alright, so you guys see how I I have the 76ers available, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit A right here. And then as far as the contract goes, you can just leave it as is. I wouldn't change it at all, cause it's not gonna matter. Go ahead, hit accept, and then you'll be loaded into the screen right here. So now, what you guys can do is go ahead and play your next Mob Player Nation game. So as you guys can see right here, I have one available, so I'm gonna go ahead and load this game up. And I'll show you guys that the game speed and rookie glitch is still gonna be there as well. All right, so I just want to show you guys the game speed is still extremely fast. This is a 60 overall. He sh really shouldn't be moving like this as is. So this just shows you guys that the rookie mode is still on as well. So like I said, you guys just want to go crazy, but in my case, I'm not actually going to ground this player out. So I'm going to get five fouls, play six minutes, and then file out just so I get my VC. So this is my player nation game number two. So I'm going to show you guys what you guys need to do to keep spamming this over and over again. Double batch progress, double VC, double my points every time. Once your VC loads up, hit the middle button on your console. Uh, go to click start on NBA 2K20, manage game and add-ons. Go to save data, click A on your user profile, and then hit delete from console. Do not delete from everywhere or you will lose all your players. Make sure you guys hit delete from console. Once you do that, go ahead and reload the game back up. Once the game loads back up, I'm going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to select on the same exact player. I'm going to go ahead, loading back up, and you're going to see that it's going to put me back at that screen where we started at. So from here, I'm going to show you guys this one more time. Just to show you guys, if you do it exactly the way I show you guys, you won't get stuck on a team. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to enter free agency. I'm going to hit A through this. And then this time, I'm going to go ahead and just choose the uh, the Nets, just because I know they have a Mile Player Nation game available. So here's the Nets. And then on this contract, you can just spam A through it, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can hit accept. And then you'll be loaded into this screen right here. And then from here, you guys can go ahead and play another Mob Player Nation game. All 
Alright, so as you guys can see right here, the speed is still extremely fast, so it's also on rookie mode as well. So in this game, you just want to go crazy and get as much bash progress as you possibly can. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to play six minutes and foul out just so I get my VC. Alright, so this was our, what, third mile player nation game? I'm going to show you guys this one more time. I'm just show you guys if you do exactly what I showed you, you won't get stuck in our team. After your double VC loads up, hit the middle button on your controller, click start on NBA 2K20, manage game and add-ons, go to save data, and then click A on your user profile, hit delete from console, do not delete from everywhere or you'll lose all your players, and then after that, go ahead and reload the game back up. Once the game loads back up, I'm just going to show you guys this, I'm going to load up the same exact player that I've been doing the glitch on this whole entire time. And it's gonna put me back on this screen right here. And then from this screen, if I wanted to keep spamming the glitch over and over again, I would just choose a team, play it, clear my save data, and repeat over and over again. So that's how you can do the My Player Nation glitch with the rookie glitch as well. Drop a like, drop a sub, enter my giveaway. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I'm out. Peace.